And if you want to see the announcements again, you just, pr just press A. You don't need capital A there, just a small A. And there you can see all the things that have happened. You, have, uh, you see everything I've equipped, everything I've removed and so on. It says it's called, I've stand, stood, laying on the ground. And here you can see the status of the combat. So if I press now di like diagonally towards the guy I'm attacking, it'll automatically attack him, like so. Uh, this guy jumped away though. Uh, he jumped away from the fly flying iron bolt. bolt. Okay, I, I didn't really shoot him. Then. Let's try it again towards him, downwards. Uh, you attack, but he jumps away. Okay. Uh, now you can see the peasant punches you in the left upper leg with his right hand, bruising the skin through the rope reed fiber rope. Now, what you usually want to do in combat is aim your attacks. And you do this by pressing Shift A, big A, or capital A. Then you choose whoever you want to attack. You can attack your own people, it's not advised, but you can if you want to kill them, whatever. And I choose the peasant by pressing A. Now you can see here, you have all the sorts of, uh, well, how easy it is to hit and so on. You have tricky strikes, tricky strikes, normal strikes, easy strikes. These tell how easy it is to hit. As you can see here, you can't land squarely, which means you can't really hit him. You may just hit him and it'll glance off, for example. This is only grays, can't quite connect. I, I'm not that good at reading them. But don't go for tricky strikes usually. Go for normal and easier strikes. Towards the head, you don't usually have a normal strike, but you may. You can go towards other pages as well by pressing the asterisk key or the uh, forward slash. So as you can see here, we have all sorts of... You can aim anywhere, basically. You can even aim at his tongue, but those are usually tricky strikes. You don't want to go for those. So let's go back by taking forward slash and aim for the head because that's a normal strike. So let's lash at him. Actually, let's not lash at him with A. Let's rather choose the copper shield because as you may remember, he was vulnerable to copper. So let's press B. I missed, which means, well, I missed. And you can see he tries to counter strike, he misses. And my axeman hacks at him, tearing apart of that, it's lodged in the wound, and so on. Now, let's move towards him again, because we jumped away. And now I'm going to do something slightly drift different. Shift A, greater, no, capital A, press enter to wrestle, press A to aim, and then you can choose what you want to grab him with. Now, I want to grab him with my right upper arm. And I want to grab his, for example, let's say his left upper leg. I missed him, he counter strikes and scratched him in the foot. Uh, I don't usually want to wrestle because I haven't taken any skills in wrestle, but that was just for demonstration purposes. So let's just aim at him again, capital A, choose who you want to aim at, and then you can see what you want to attack. Now, as you can see, there are no good hits here, but you can see this small blue arrow here which means there's an opportune strike on this second finger on his left hand. So let's press L to go there. As you can see here, I can punch him in the left hand. It's a simple strike and a direct hit, which is really good. So let's hit him. Now, we hit him in the left hand, it shattered the bone, which means it's most likely not, he'll most likely not be able to use that hand anymore. But he's a vampire and vampires have sort of, you know, they can't really bleed your death and so on. Let's do that again. Now you can see there's opened a lot more of those opportune strikes. Now hitting a person in the foot is usually good because that gives you more opportune strikes because he's on the ground. So let's choose his right foot. Now you can see that's scratched so it's not too good. Let's go out by pressing escape. Go to his left lower foot. It's just kick. Not good. Let's go out again by pressing escape. Choose right hand with H. And that's punch again. So let's just punch him in the right hand. Uh, we just bruised the bone. I collide, collided with the peasant and he was knocked over. Which means he's prone, so we have to, he has to stand up later. As you can see, he's on the ground now, so we have a lot better strikes at him. Now, I'm not going to choose the, uh, the opportune strike here, as you can see by the uh, exclamation mark. Because I have a good strike against his head. So let's choose that. Our normal strike, which is very square, which means it's really good. 
Now let's strike at him with the copper shield. As you can see, you strike the peasant in the head with your copper shield, bruising the muscle, jamming the skull through the brain and tearing the brain. The peasant has been knocked unconscious. Risen as a muddy the peasant has been struck down, which means he died. So we're good. Now let's move over him. And let us check what kind of loot he has. You can do this by pressing L for look. And he doesn't really have anything on him. You can look at his his uh, corpse, but there's not really anything there. So, now, let us go to looting. To pick something up, I'm, I want my copper dagger back. So, I walk onto my copper dagger, which has landed here by... This is the vep weapon symbol, which is forward slash. I don't know why, but it is. So, let's move over that and press G. Now you can see the prompt here, you can make campfires using this, but you don't usually want to do that. There's no reason to, usually, unless it's night time. But let us pick our copper dagger up by pressing A. Now you see, it picked up the copper dagger and placed it in the backpack. Whew. Now, let's go on the, over this armor symbol here. This is armor. Let's press G and check what it is. It's a copper left gauntlet. Awesome. So let's pick that up by pressing A and pressing W. We want to wear that, like so. Now we are wearing the copper left gauntlet in our left hand. All right, let's go down here. As you can see, I am the person with the whip here. Let's press G. Oh, that's the right gauntlet. Let's wear that, like so. And there's an even better co left copper gauntlet. This is good because I don't I want to wear that rather than the other one. Now, let's look at it by pressing I and pressing S and V for the description. This is a copper left gauntlet. It is studded with black bronze. This object menaces with spikes of well made wolf bone. Cool. Now we see we have that. But we don't we can't wear that by pressing W because we already have something on in our left hand. So let us press R, which is remove, which you should have learned earlier, and press R to remove the copper left gauntlet, like so. And then you press where, and choose the copper left gauntlet, like so. Press A. Now you're wearing that. As you can see now, I am holding the copper left gauntlet in my right hand. I'm just holding it. I don't have it equipped because it's grayed out. Now, we don't want that anymore, so let us press D for drop. And press F to remove it. Like so. And now we dropped it on the ground. Now let's just explore the rest. We can see there's more gear here. A co even better copper left gauntlet, so let us just... We don't really have... We have to unequip it first, so let's press R. Choose the copper right gauntlet that we're currently wearing. And then we drop that copper left gauntlet and press where? Right gauntlet. Ooh. Ooh, a small iron cap. Even better. So let us remove our co uh, sheep wool cap. Drop that. We don't want to have more weight. Actually, that was the wrong one. Let's see. Remove. Do I have anything else on my head? Let's see. I shouldn't have anything else. We should be able to wear it. Oh, it's small. We can't wear it because it's small. Okay, so let's drop it. We don't need it then. Let's just equip our other thing. Ooh, arrows. I don't want them. Turbans. And we see there's an unfortunate soul that's lost his life. Logan Lolo Cases. The skeleton. Right. Let's head out. By moving. As always. Now we're outside. You can't travel from here. Uh, that wasn't good for demonstration. But if you're close to the lair, you can't travel. As you can see, capital T. You cannot travel until you leave the site. So let us leave this site, which wasn't too far away. Shift T, greater than. Uh, not greater than, but. Now, I'm going to teach you how to look in the, uh, in the cities or villages or whatever you're in. As you can see here, uh, these are basically fields, so they're not anything of interest. There are no buildings there or anything. The thing you want to look for, also this is the Phobos tile set. I may have forgotten to mention that. And I downloaded the Lazy New Pack, which I will 
include in the description of this video. So let us move. And as you can see, this orangey area is where the town is or where the buildings are. So let's just go in there. You have to follow the road. You can't go, you know, diagonally here. You have to follow the road exactly. So let's stop here. That's done. And you can see buildings. So let's just go in here and talk to this person right next to us. Press K to talk and enter. Now we want to report our successes plus and minus to go up and down. And he says, this is fantastic. May using part strokes rot forever in the window world. And for every quest you do, you can hire one more uh, companion. If you do greater quests, you can hire even more. So let us ask for another service. As you can see, there's another vampire. There are a lot of them actually in this world. And he's killed 650. Oh my. But he didn't have any special weaknesses or strength. So let us see if we can find another companion to pick take with us. Let's see. Mm, no one here. You may not find people everywhere. It's usually good to look in every house. See no one here either. Uh, there are more houses here which I haven't explored yet, so let's just explore every one of them. No one here either. What about this house? No. Anything here? No. Let's move to the next house again. And there aren't anyone here either that I can hire. And not there either. Okay, so I'll just travel again. And yeah. I want to just travel far and wide for now. Just so I can demonstrate the hunger. Okay, so now we're hungry. What you want to do is stop whenever you're hungry. And, well... Oh, there's something up there. It was a rabbit or something. You can see by the R. Where is it? I lost it. It's probably too quick. So, let's eat. Press E, and then choose whatever. As you can see, this is eyes because it's cold outside. You can't really eat it. But let us eat the oyster. I did that by pressing E and chose the oyster. Now, it is actually snowing. Let's see. I know. Okay. Just want to see if snow actually set. Ah, uh, this isn't good. I can't drink. So you'd usually want to go find another place. You can't travel when you're close to a river either. As you can see, it's kind of wintry around here. Let's move further down south. It's actually turning towards night, I think. Okay. I think this is a warmer area. Yeah, no. Oh, no. Crap, it's not warmer. Let's go down to this river. Nope, it's frozen over. Let's just move across it. I'm moving quite fast now by just holding in everything. Shift T. Now it's turning towards night. Now, when it comes to night and you're traveling like this, it's just easier to press Control Z or Z or whatever you want to say. Uh, capital Z. And as you can see down here, we now have a question about how long we want to sleep. Plus and minus, you can adjust how long you want to sleep, but usually you want to Sleep by pressing S and D until dawn. Enter. So now we're sleeping and uh, you can get ambushed during the night. But we didn't. So let us just... Oops, I pressed stop there. So let's go south. It's still kind of dark, but it's, you know, evening. Oh, we've been ambushed. Tell them it was the Oaks of Marching if you live. Okay. So as you can see here, we have a bowman. He has an iron bow. Which is not good because I don't like... Oh shit. We're being attacked. By a lot of people. Oh sh sugar. We're hit in, hit in the upper left... Upper right leg. So as you can see we fell to the ground because... Well we can't stand because our bones sort of chipped. Let's press enter. And you may have noticed here that an iron dagger has been lodged into our wound. Now we can learn about interaction. Press capital I. And scroll down with asterisk to find your copper arrow. As you can see, it's stuck in our uh, right upper leg. So let's press B. And here you get a prompt. And we want to pull it out by pressing A. So we pulled out the arrow. 
Now, we want to throw it at this guy right here because he's the overlord. So let's press T, G, and throw it. And I missed. And I died. So, I think I got most of the stuff here, but I will try and keep, you know, tutorials whenever, you know, from my other my series basically but this is more of the tutorial sections of the war fortress adventure mode now i hope you enjoyed it and let's just look at the announcement ah they're still fighting for some reason anyways a as you can see here we were struck a lot we were hit in the head and we died we have been struck down okay so that was it for now and I hope you enjoyed watching this, and if you have any questions, just ask in the comments, or send me a PM, or whatever. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.